and welcome to The Real. Today, we're going to be doing a Q&A on our film Torn. So we asked you guys to tweet us some questions with the hashtag Torn and you guys have asked us many questions. Um, our first question we're going to answer is, what is the main theme between your main product and our ancillary text? I would say the main theme for us was Torn. Because our film's called Torn and this is because of the divide between the family and the woman taking their baby, we thought we should run, run with it and when it came to editing the trailer, doing the magazine, doing the poster, we all used the theme of something torn. So I'm going to hand over to Yasmin, who did the magazine cover. So when I was designing the magazine cover, I knew that the, something had to link to the word torn on the front page that was clear. So I made it look like the banner was being torn back to show the other films that were going to be featured in the magazine to attract a wider audience. And I know that Narvan designed the poster, so I'll hand it over to her. So I did the poster and when we were creating the poster, magazine and teaser trailer we wanted one similar theme which was torn and as for the magazine Yasmin said that she had a tear at the bottom of her magazine and when I was creating the poster I had a tear between the photo which was showed the family t being teared apart as well as that I had the writing, the title torn in an effect which was it was torn apart so that symbolised that the family was torn. Yeah, basically. basically. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I did the. I edited the trailer, and what I found it ha found hard about um, incorporating this torn theme is because we wanted it to be a serious trailer. So we. I didn't want the writing to be like torn apart, like Narvan's poster. I wanted it to be more on the serious side. So we had to think of an idea of how we could incorporate in the trailer and Yasmin came up with a really good idea at the end. So we needed to find a good font for the title that was serious but went with the theme as well so I thought it would be good to come up with an animation on After Effects to make it look like again the paper was being torn back to reveal the title of the film right at the end of the trailer and this links with the whole theme of the whole family being ripped apart mm -hmm. and their situation being really bad. Yeah, so our next question is why did you choose to use a dark colour scheme? Well, whilst editing the teaser trailer, we had to really think about how we wanted the audience to feel when watching it. So a lot of our scenes were like filmed in daylight or filmed in the dark. We didn't really, we didn't like add any effects to darken it. But, as you can tell, the clothing on the characters were quite dark and things like that. But it was more visible in the poster and the magazine, so for the poster... Yeah, so me and Yasmin thought that we were going to have a similar colour scheme between our magazine and poster. So we had, the colours were really dull, um, there wasn't really much colour on the actual picture. So when I had the picture of the family that was torn apart, it was quite dull, greyish colours. And then we had um, a photo in the middle, which was of our antagonist, and that was quite dark red um, to obviously represent that she is evil and has torn the family apart. Um, also the titles, we had the colours grey again and um, white. white, obviously. Mm. So we just decided to create a similar theme so that it worked throughout the teaser trailer, magazine and poster. And we thought the contrast between black and white mixed well because it matches how different the main character is in the beginning of the film to how she ends up at the end. Yeah. Kind of like... As we, we also did that in the teaser trailer, yeah. sorry. So we had the theme in the teaser trailer. I think it's I think it's just the fact that we, everything was that the clothing was dark and and in the um, yeah the views in between the shots as well yeah it was dark background but obviously we needed kind of bright right to stand out um the color of the teaser trailer was also it was quite dull there wasn't much color to it it was just gray um but the beginning of the teaser trailer it wasn't like that and as well as her wearing black. Um, throughout the mm -hmm. teaser trailer just shows us something. It was, it was kind of foreshadowing what was going to happen, to be honest. And her makeup changes quite a lot as well because after the character changes, she has like black around her eyes mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And her hair, it's quite yeah. different. So mainly through the teaser trailer, we just did... It was just the characters that were dark. 
well, uh, yeah. not like the actual footage. Okay, so question three is how did we decide on our final pictures for the magazine or poster and how did this connect to the teaser trailer? So I'm gonna start off with our teaser trailer. We mainly use younger couples and that will, we want to make sure that if you saw the magazine and poster, you would know that our film is aimed at a younger audience. So young, young adults. Yeah. So Yasmin did. I made sure that the main thing on the magazine cover was the main character, and I want I wanted it to be a close up so that the younger audiences would see the magazine and know immediately that the film was meant for them to see and not like mm, older adults or children. And um, the picture I chose, I didn't want to take a shot from the film because when I was researching magazine covers, they tended to do a separate kind of photo shoot for the magazine and that's it, so that it was a kind of, so it was posed for. So that's why I picked the image that was on the cover. Um, for me, I was quite specific what, with who I wanted in the poster. So we did have the young couple in the, like as the main background. And you could, like if you, we decided to not follow the usual characters that you'd see in like a drama movie because it wouldn't usually be aimed at young people drama um, movies. But ours, it was like it was based around young couples, and you could obviously see that as soon as like a young person would see that poster, you would see that it's a young couple, and even the antagonist is quite young, so they would get the idea of what the movie is about. So. To sum it up, we would say that our we would say that it was very effective our main product and ancillary text combination because we had a running theme with it and we also used dark colours and we had like pictures that represented our audience. So all in all, we did it was very effective. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for listening. Um, you could tweet us your responses to this and. Make sure to watch the film. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> it was really good. So, thank you. Thank you. Bye.